Hi everyone, thanks for joining us at our virtual community science workshop. My name is Mr. G and today we're building a animal block. Keep in mind Ms. Shaver is the one building the project in this video. A circuit is a path for electrons to move to power a device, in this case a motor. The electrons are pushed in one direction from one end of the battery, through the wires, to the motor and then back to the other end or terminal of the battery. When the wires, motor and battery are all connected and the motor is working, we call this a closed circuit. When the circuit is disconnected, it is an open circuit. The glue stick attached off center to the spinning motor acts as a counterweight, which creates an imbalance and vibration as the motor spins, thus causing the animal bot to move. Hair that is longer than shoulder length must be tied back when using the animal block to prevent it from getting caught in the motor. The spinning motor also has a glue stick counterweight attached to it, so care must be taken so that the spinning counterweight doesn't hit people, property, or animals. The push pins have sharp ends. Be sure that they are handled carefully during the build and don't become detached during use. When using the glue gun, hair longer than shoulder length must be tied back and safety goggles worn. Do not touch the tip or sides of the glue gun. If you get hot glue on your skin, wipe it off on the table or clothing immediately to prevent serious injury. Do not leave hot glue guns unattended. The materials we're using a builder animal bot are a CD, Forks, push pins, a cardstock head, a motor, a glue stick, a battery. a rubber band, and masking tape. Now for decoration, we're gonna be using googly eyes. We also have some pipe cleaners, construction paper, foam wheels, and feathers. This project also requires the use of crayons or markers, hot glue, and scissors which are not included in the kit. We'll start the build by folding the flat edge of the cardstock head widthwise toward the rounded edge to create a half inch flap. Decorate the cardstock face to resemble an animal of your choosing. Squeeze a thin line of hot glue on the bottom of the neck and attach it to the top of the CD. Be sure to place the head all the way forward on top of the CD to leave room to attach other materials to the remaining space on the top of the CD. Next, we'll place a large dot of hot glue on the tip of each of the four corks and attach them to the bottom of the CD. Spread the corks out evenly on the bottom of the CD so that their placement resembles the four corners of a square. Once 
Once this is done, push one pushpin completely into the tip of the each cork so that the pushpins are sticking straight down from the tips of the corks. Now, push the motor shaft into the side of the glue stick. It must be inserted about one third of the length of the glue stick. Use three to four large squirts of hot glue to attach the motor to the back of the top of the CD. The slits or vents of the motor must be facing upward and be uncovered. The glue stick counterweight must hang off the back of the CD and be able to spin freely in order to function properly. Wrap the rubber band around the battery lengthwise so both terminals are covered. Use two lengths of 3 inch long masking tape and form an X to attach the battery to one side of the top of the CD. Place the tape so that the terminals of the battery are not covered by the tape. To connect your animal bot, insert one wire in between the terminal of the battery and the rubber band. Repeat with the other wire on the other terminal. A circuit is a path for electrons to move to power a device. The electrons, very small pieces of matter and energy, are pushed in one direction from one end of the battery or terminal through the wires to the motor, then back to the other terminal. When the wires, motor, and battery are all connected and the motor is working, we call this a closed circuit. When the circuit is disconnected, it is an open circuit. The glue stick attached off-center to the spinning motor acts as a counterweight. This imbalance creates a vibration as the motor spins, thus causing the animal bot to move.
Now I got a couple questions for you to think about as you experiment with your animal bot. What would happen if you attach the glue stick at its center to the motor shaft? Disconnect the wire on your animal bot, it stops moving. What is happening inside of the wires that causes this? Comment below with your thoughts and ideas and remember to like this video and subscribe to our CSW network for new virtual STEM lab projects. You can also visit our website at cswnetwork.org for free access to our project library. This is Mr. G. Until next time, we'll see you in the next project.